Hi guys, Matt from 123MIT here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Dynamic Island on the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. Let's get started. Apple created the Dynamic Island around the notch at the top of the iPhone, and it allows you to see the content that is running in the background. If you want to start an activity in the Dynamic Island, let's say you wanted to start Screen Recorder for example, uh, you can swipe down from the top right to get into Control Center and then tap on Screen Recorder. You can see the Dynamic Island gives you a little countdown for the Screen Recorder activity. If you wanted to start a second activity, let's say you wanted to start a podcast or a media player, you can see the Dynamic Island has two icons now, the podcast and the screen recorder. To interact with an activity, you can tap on the activity in the Dynamic Island and you'll have more controls for the activity. As you can see, I can stop the screen recorder from here. If you swipe up and tap and hold the podcast, you will have more podcast controls, rewind, pause, and forward. Swipe up to put the podcast controls away, and if you tap on it, it will go back directly to the podcast player. Let's say that you wanted to use the timer. Again, swipe down from the top right to get into the control center, and then tap on the timer. Tap on start, and then swipe up to get out of there. Now you will see the timer in the dynamic island. Tap and hold to bring up the timer menu. And you can pause or you can stop the timer. And that's how you use the dynamic island to control your background apps. Pretty simple. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to unsend a message on iPhone. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.